your mark. Set. Go! Get those things cracking. This finger could be pointing the way to big prizes for one of these two teams. But while one raises its hopes, the other will raise 25 points and control of the game. Turkey, you gotta up. hand it to them. <laughs> Your family double dare host, the only game show celebrity who has a degree in nuclear physics, Mark Summers. Hi. Uh, I know I probably look like. What's the name of that group? The uh, with the berets. What's the name of that thing? The uh, green I can't berets. Name, Jeffrey. Huh? Green berets. Not the, the green berets. The, the people who walk the no, no, the people who walk in the subways. What are they called? Oh, the uh, guardian, guardian, guardian angel. angel. I look like a homosexual guardian angel with a thing on, don't I? <laughs> There was a joke there somewhere, but it wasn't worth it. Anyway, we're having a special show. Uh, it's sort of a, an old-timer show is the way we refer to it. People who were involved putting this show together since day one. And uh, let's meet them starting to my left. They are dressed in red. Let's hear it for Air Force One. Yes! 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 I would like you to meet them face-to-face, uh, -face, starting off with uh, Bob Mittenthal, who is uh, one of our creators of this program, followed by uh, Byron Taylor, who is responsible for uh, the obstacles and uh, a lot of the physical challenges, followed by Jeffrey Darby. We have no idea what the hell this man does. Uh, <laughs> and the president of this lovely network, Geraldine Laybourne, who's never looked better. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, they give me notes on, on the people here. It says here that Byron was the world's first test tube baby and Bob was abandoned by wolves and raised by a pack of weasel executives. <laughs> it's true. And, and Byron, how, how do they get you out here to do this thing? Uh, I was coerced. Yeah, I bet you were. One of the shyest human beings. And Jerry, any parting words you'd like to say? <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad good. I had my hair done. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. To my right, we have a team that already has 25 points. They call themselves the Milk-Like Substances. <laughs> More people involved with the show since day one, uh, starting off with uh, Lauren. Now, Lauren started off as our unit manager, and she uh, is involved with all the big finance that uh, happens over at uh, MTV Networks, and uh, especially Nickelodeon. Followed by Dana Calderwood, who is our first director, and he's produced this show. He's done just about everything. And then there's Robin hey. and uh, Harvey, hey. who uh, you see on stage on a daily basis. <laughs> Hopefully they keep doing that. The red team won't have to worry because they'll knock themselves out. Now, your family has a thing, a thing for beards, they tell me. You want to explain this? Well, as, uh, as a matter of fact, it turns out that really all four of us have beards. It's yeah. just that Lauren and Robin shave for today's show. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, let's talk about the rules here on uh, Family Double Dare of Sorts. Uh, they go something... Like, like this. this. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer, or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for a double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back. For how much, Harvey? How much, Harvey? Four times the dollars. And then they either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to Air Force One. God knows they'll need it. And the milk-like substances have control of this very first question. And that's our first question. What was the first question in the very first show of Double Dare? It's worth 25 points or you could dare them. <laughs> We've lost them, ladies and gentlemen. They're gone. You have to stand up here, folks. You have to stand up. We have to know what you're doing down there. Or do you want to dare them? Dare. All right, now worth 50 points. What double was the dare. very first? Double Dare. Uh, it's now worth $100 or do you want to take a physical challenge? What was the first question on Double Dare? Physical challenge. Uh, it's in what game do you pass, go, and collect $200? We have our first $100 physical challenge, a 100 point, I guess, today. I need two people. Two people. No, over here, Robin. No, no. Yeah, that's right. Where do you go? That's right. Robin, you know, from time to time, we have gacked you on this show, and I don't think that's fair to do today. I, you I, look so pretty. I, I, so I want you to come over here and say hi to Jackie. But you come over here, Dana, because we have one of the favorites called Pat My Pal, and we're going to put a helmet on you. Actually, it's a bowl hat. And after we get that on you, you have to hold on to it with your hands because when I say go, Robin will start off with these gack-filled balloons and will run over here as quickly as she can and put it on top, this man has the biggest head in North America. Is that thing going to go on or not? There you go. And, and she will put it over here. Now, since you are so large, you'll have to sort of stand here and then sit down. You must pop them. And normally, we have to do four balloons in 20 seconds. But we thought it would be a lot more interesting if we did eight in 60. 
So we're going to give you 60 seconds <laughs> to do eight balloons. Can I bring more than one balloon at a time? You can do whatever you'd like. Just don't bother me anymore. I'm sick of you, all right? Uh, 60 seconds on the clock. Eight balloons, 100 points. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! No, you can't do that. No, no. You can't do that. Whoa. Okay, so far they haven't done any. Yeah, you get, sit down there. Oh, you missed. You got to do it. Sit down. Get, whoa, look at this. Keep doing it. Yeah, oh, you're having a hard time. There's one. Yeah, we do number two. You got to stand up there. There's number two. There's two. We need a uh, heck of a lot more. Keep on going. Oh, fell out, Robin. Whoa. We still need uh, a lot more. Here's number three. Can they do that? There's three. We need five more. And no, no, you can only take one at a time. Here's number four. Can they do it? Sit down. Yeah. Four more in 26 seconds. I don't know if they can do it. Here's number five. And sit down. There's five. Three more is what you need. Here's uh, the next one. Sit down. And no. Two more. Two more is what you need. Can they do it? Oh, it fell out. Hurry, hurry. You need two more with nine seconds. Can they do it? I'm so sorry you got seven out of eight. Time ran out. Robin just had a heck of a time getting across that stage. And uh, that means 100 points go to the Air Force One team, and they have control of this question. What was the first Double Dare standby physical challenge? Yeah. Worth 25, or you could dare them. <laughs> uh, Mark? Yes? Uh, what is Swingle Sticks? Uh, that is it. Swingle Stick yeah! is the answer. 25 points added over there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. to get him, you blew it. Here's your next one. What star of Full House escorted Paula Abdul to the 1990 Grammy Awards? It's worth 25, or you could dare them. Uh, Mark? Yes. Uh, who is John Stamos? This is not Jeopardy, for God's sake. <laughs> yes, 25 points added over there. And uh, 150 to 25. Big move for Air Force One. Oh, oh, oh. Now, I need the first and last name. We're trying to find out the French author who wrote the masterpiece, Madame Bovary. First and last name. It's worth 25 points, or you could dare them. You say it. Say it. No, you say it. You say it. Ah, uh, Mark? Yes? Who is Gustave Flaubert? Oh, they did get it. <laughs> Don't go on it. Yes, 25 points. Added yes. over there, they have 175. Wow. And the red team is running away with this. It's incredible. Who is the educated person over there? Everybody. Put your Everybody knew, huh? Yeah. Byron wow. got that one. All right. In Double Dare, what does the crew call a crupple? Is it a mistake? Is it a piece of popcorn left under the Double Dare bleachers, or is it the new trendy Mark Summers hairstyle? A crupple. Bring it to 200, or you could dare them. Uh, Mark? Yes. <laughs> what is Mark Summers' hairstyle? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a mistake. It was named after an audio man who to this day doesn't know what he's doing. So control <laughs> goes over here uh, to the uh, blue side, the milk-like substances. All right. They need this question. They're way behind. What 70s folk rock star is now known as Yusuf Islam? It's worth 25, or you could dare them. Uh, Mark, Cat Stevens. Yes, you're absolutely right. Cat Stevens yeah. over there for the milk-like substances. Did you know that over there? We, we knew that that was too easy. Oh, OK. <laughs> what, Oscar, hard one. what Oscar award-winning director directed the film version of Annie? It's worth 25. Bring up to 75, or you could dare them. Uh, John Houston. Yes, right again. Yeah, Very nice. $25. And, and who is the original Annie on Broadway who's married to somebody connected with the show? <laughs> Andrew McCordle. $25. No, no, sorry. Who wrote the play Timon of Athens? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's worth 25 bringing you to 100 Or you could dare them. Need an answer. Uh, Shakespeare. Yeah, you're right again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You absolutely have that right. Up to 100. We need some physical challenges here. In Double Dare, the person who places the obstacles in the obstacle course is called A, the kid, or B, the map lord, or C, the guy who knows where the obstacles go. It's worth 25. Uh, that would be map lord. Yes, you are right. 125. And the milk like substances are making their move. They're only 50 points behind. Yeah. And they're in control of this question. What member of New Kids on the Block was hospitalized after he fell through a stage trap door during a concert? I need his first and last name. Bring it to 150, or you could dare them. Come on, you know. How do you know that? 
I would dare. Oh, all right, now we're at 50. What member of uh, New Kids on the Block was hospitalized after he fell through a stage trap door during a concert? Or you uh, could double dare them back. Uh, Mark? Yes. Uh, would, uh, who is Donnie Wahlberg? Oh, no, they got it. 50 <laughs> over there. 225. I can't believe it. Jimmy Stewart won an Oscar for Best Actor in Only One Film. What was it? Bring it to 250 or you could dare them. Need an answer. Uh, Mark will dare them. Okay, now worth 50, Jimmy Stewart. Uh, but if you know this, I want you to double dare them back because then they'll get the physical challenge. So, uh, do you have an answer? Uh, does that mean Philadelphia story is not the right answer? Uh, oh, gee, I don't have any idea. Um, That's right, yes, $100. Philadelphia, is that what you're going to say, the Philadelphia story? We'll say the Philadelphia story. Yeah, you're right, son of a gun. Now, let's put uh, $50 up there and. Uh, <laughs> just standing up. All right. We need the You'll points. You'll never get this. Harry Carson appeared on the Super Bowl version of Super Sloppy Double Dare. What is his daughter's name? I know this. Do you? Oh, no. Robin. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we need to get to some physical challenges. The audience is passing away uh, out there. Dare. All right, now we're at uh, 50. Harry Carson's daughter on uh, Super Sloppy uh, Double Dare. What was her name? Or you can double dare them back. Uh, Mark? Yes? Who is Isha? Oh, that is incorrect. Oh. Uh, can you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, put it over there. It was, uh, it was Asia. Oh, Asia. Oh, so, uh, 225 to 225, and that sound means we have a tie game. It's the end of round one. We haven't gotten this message we wanted to get, but uh, when we come back, there's going to be all sorts of uh, interesting things happening. Uh, stay right where you are, and we'll have a lot more fun on this episode of Fun After This. Two of this special edition of Family Double Dare. This uh, means that all the dollar values will be doubled, or point values today. And, and, uh, and when you hear this sound right here, that means the game is over. What are we going to do? Well, we have balloons. Normally, we do this with two people. We have four on the red side, four on the blue side. The first team to pop all their balloons is going to get 50 points and control of round two. I can hardly wait for this. On your mark. Get set, go! Let's oh my, look at this. They're exploding. I'm getting out of here because it's really getting messy. Can they do it? Roll around on the ground. You can help your partners. Roll around on the ground, group. That's what you need to do. Blue team is way ahead, it looks like. Red team, a bunch of wusses. These are the wussiest people I've ever seen, especially Byron Taylor. He hasn't broken any of those balloons. I can't believe it. Blue team is moving quickly. You can help your partner after you've done it. Look at Darby. Darby's uh, doing some unnatural acts right here on this stage. Oh, he just lost one. Oh, come on, folks. The blue team did it right here. The blue team. Yeah, they did it. You can uh, add 50 points. Just come over here and play some more family double there. That's what it is. <laughs> See if you can get up here. Uh, 275 now for the milk-like substances. Can they ever get up here again? That is the big question. The red side, biggest bunch of wusses I've ever seen in my life. Half the balloons are still there. Byron was going, ow, oh, my nails, my nails. It's just unbelievable. So, <laughs> look, his hair is perfect, but he didn't break any balloons. So let's carry on. It's 50, 100, 200 on a double deer. Uh, I guess this is the right question. They changed him. All right. When uh, Double Dare did spoofs of uh, Hollywood Squares, who was the square? It's worth 50, or you could dare them. I guess. Dare? No. Dare? Okay. When, when Double Dare was uh, spoofing Hollywood again? Squares, uh, who was in the square, or you could double dare them back? Double Dare. Double Dare. Now worth uh, 200 points, or you could take a physical dare. challenge. <laughs> physical challenge! A uh, physical challenge, Mark. Well, uh, Harvey apparently has Alzheimer's because Harvey was in the square. Uh, let's uh, do a $200 or 200 points. Imagine that. Come down here, folks. Uh, this is a fun one. One of my favorites called, If I Knew You Were Coming, I'd Have Baked a Cake. Grab a seat anywhere you'd like, preferably not mine, and uh, <laughs> anywhere that you'd like, you can uh, do that. Then we're going to strap you in. This is something we learned on one of the first episodes. The contestants from time to time are chicken, and they get off and run away. So, uh, 
So we're not going to do that. And as a matter of fact, uh, we have some uh, layers of cake down there. When I say go, you must pick up a layer of cake, send it down here. Harvey then will put it over here. He must take two handfuls of this frosting and put it on top of the first layer. Keep it going until it's on top of each layer. And then when we're done, you must pull on this, and all the icing will come down on top of you. However, 30 seconds is much too much time. Can we change that to 15? That would be oh, nice. Yeah. Make it 15 20, seconds. 20, 20? OK, give him 20, 20 seconds, Oscar. 20 seconds on the clock. 22 and a half. Nah, 22. That's, how about 22? 22 and a half. Never done a 22 second physical. Huh? We want to say the payoff. Oh, I'll make it 22. Can we make it 22? I've never done a 22 second physical challenge. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Send it over there. I need two handfuls of that. Okay, goes to the next one. There's number two. Can we get it all the way over? There's number three. And here's number four. Keep on going. There's number five. And finally, number six. And I think it's time to pull out. you got to lean back. Got to pick. There you go. That's it. <laughs> With two seconds remaining. Look at that, folks. They did it. Is that cold or what? Uh, why don't you come over here and let's play some more uh, family double there. Good grief. Yeah, they got it on that one, folks. Just leave it. Just leave it. Woo! Oh, and it's, it's so nice. It's so pink and beautiful. Gee whiz. Um, so you look good back there, Harvey. They have uh, 475 <laughs> points. And uh, we're going to clean up the stage in just a bit, but we will carry on with this next uh, question. The city of Denver derives its name from uh, what two metals? It's worth 50 points, or you could dare them. What? <laughs> Need an answer. Uh, Got to be in the butt, Mark. <laughs> first of all, the line is, Got to be the butt, Bob. First of all, we're going to do it first. Right, right. let's do it. But, uh, or do you want to dare them? Um, that's our answer. That's your answer? That's oh, I'm answer. sorry. It's golden and silver. Uh, city of Denver, gold and silver. No dare at stake, no money changing place. Control back to Air Force One. Thank you so much. That was that breakfast I had. Michael Jackson wants to introduce a line of candy called what? Tito, Bubbles, or Oprah? Worth 50 points, so you could dare them. Uh, Mark? Yes. What is a dare? Oh, a dare. OK, now worth 50. Michael Jackson wants to introduce a line of candy. What does he call it? Tito, Bubbles, or Oprah? You want to double dare them back? Uh, we'll, uh, oh. uh, yeah, we'll, we'll double dare. Oh, good. Uh, now worth uh, one dare. or 200, you're going to take a physical down. challenge. <laughs> uh, Mark? Yes. <laughs> uh, what is a physical challenge? <laughs> What is a doofus, Jeffrey? You know, what is a complete Harvey doofus? Is a doofus Harvey. <laughs> All right. It's Bubbles. That's the uh, line of candy. And we do have a 200 point physical challenge for the red team. Come on out of here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my. Well, Jerry Laybourne loves this uh, Nickelodeon uh, Studios uh, toilet paper, so we make sure we got enough of that over there. However, I would like uh, Bob and Byron and Jerry to go over there and say hi to Jamie as we bring Jeffrey over here, because Jeffrey, you would look great sitting here on this toilet. So that's where we want to put you, is sitting right there on that toilet, right over there. This one is called William Tell. Go ahead, just have a seat right over there, Mr. Darby, please. And we're going to put some goggles on you. Oh, just sit down. I can finally tell you to sit down and shut up. Okay, do me a favor. <laughs> no, we won't. Can we, can, do we have that card up there, Hugh, huh? Do we? Um, anyway, we have some goggles and an apple, and the object is to get that apple to come down uh, on uh, Jeffrey's head. However, we have some arrows, and what these arrows must be doing is uh, landing up over in this neck of the woods. And, uh, Jamie, why don't we show them how that works, just like this. You pull it back, and uh, there you go. That's how you... <laughs> okay. Anyway, you got to send those in this direction, and you must get three of them to land here on the target. They can be there, there, just touching there. They must stay on for at least two seconds, and uh, at the end of uh, 30 seconds, hopefully we'll knock this apple off. How do we do that? Well, Jeffrey, what you get to do is pull on this chain, and all sorts of good things will come down to knock that apple off. If the, nap if the apple stays on, that's fine. We just want to see that goop on top of you. 30 seconds on the clock, 200 points at stake. On your mark, get set. Go! Send him over there. There's one so far. You need two more. And then we get to see uh, Jeffrey jumped upon. Taking too long to do it. Oh, not quite there. Still not there. There's two. Byron knows what he's doing. We need one more. Byron's taking the slow and simple approach. One more does it. Oh, you can do it. Point out that. There you go. Just like that. That's how it works. The apple didn't come off, but boy, did he get gack. Uh, 200 points over there for the red team. Let's uh, add that to their score. Yeah, Jeffrey looks really good there. 
That's a good one. I think uh, <laughs> Scott did that one, I think, and Hank. I think they did a magnificent job. You're the only one gacked up so far. We have a 50-point question. This could tie the game. I want to know why Byron's still dry. Yeah, he's doing a great job there. Men at Work is a 1990s summer movie starring what two real-life brothers? Would tie the game or you could dare them? You want to answer correctly? Or you... Yeah, answer correctly. Uh, Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen. You were right. Tie the game. Good job. Thanks, Bob. 475 to 475. We're going to break the tie with this question. Tell me, Air Force One, be appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court. We'll give you the lead, or you could dare them. Need an answer. Who is it? What do you think it is? Anthony Kennedy. You are right. It is Anthony Kennedy. At 50 points, they are right. Under 25. Good answer. Believe it. They know everything. For 50 points, in the I Love Lucy episode of Super Sloppy Double Dare, who played Ethel Mertz? It's worth 50, or you could dare them. Need an answer. We're going to Ah, uh, Mark? Yes. Don't dare, don't dare. Uh, I don't know the answer. Uh, would, would that be... Um, Abby Ginsburg. Abby Ginsburg. No, it was Dave Shikiar. <laughs> Dave Shikiar. No dare at stake, no money changing place. 50 point <laughs> question back for the milk like substances. According to Mark Summers, why do golfers wear two pairs of pants? It's worth 50 or you could dare them. Yes. Uh, Mark, yes. in case they get a hole in one. Yes, the most often used joke on this episode, on this program. <laughs> in case they get a hole in one. That's right. This could give them the lead now. In, Amer in an American tale, a mouse from what country travels to America? It's worth uh, 50 points, or you could dare them. Need an answer. Sometime today. A dare. All right, now worth a fifth or a to a hundred. Where are we? In an American tale, a mouse from what country travels to America, or you could double dare them back? Um, Russia. Russia is right, and to add a hundred points, are up to 625. Did you know? Did you know? Cheating was coming in there. In Super Sloppy Double Dare, it was called the fear of standing. In Family Double Dare, it was called the fear of walking. What phobia are we talking about? It's worth 200 or you could dare them. Dare, let's just dare. What the hell? Dare. <laughs> dare. Now worth 100. Super Sloppy was called the fear of standing. Family Double Dare, the fear of walking. What phobia Double are we Double Dare. Now worth uh, 200 points, you're going to take a physical challenge. I think so. Um, yeah. uh, what is a physical challenge? Yeah, Mark? it's a uh, bassophobia. That one comes up often on our show. Oh. 200 is all. Some help here. You may have noticed, hi there, Jeffrey, that I'm going to let you stay clean this time around. But we haven't gotten Byron wet yet. So I think, I think Byron, you know what we need? We have a stool over here. And Jeffrey, you go over there this time around. Stand under that dunk tank. And we have some clown pants. Stand under that stand, Yeah, but that won't hurt you at all because we're going to put these clown pants on you, Byron. And then I want you to turn around and face this direction. And uh, Jerry and Bob, if you could come back here because we have some vegetables. And when I say go, you take a green pepper and you toss it in. And then you take a uh, tomato and do that, and finally a head of lettuce. And after you get one of each in, you can be tossing together, up to you. Byron will be facing this direction with his pants open, trying to get all that food in his pants. And let's hear what it's going to sound like when we turn this on. Just like that. Good. And after you do that, Byron, we have lettuce, we have tomatoes, we have green peppers. You run all the way over here, and you stand just about in this direction. Jeffrey will pull on this tank, and we will put salad dressing all over that lovely salad. Sound good to you? Delicious. Delicious. Good. Let's see if we can do it. 30 seconds is what they have. On your mark. Get set. Go! Uh, one green pepper. Now we need, we need a tomato. All we need is a tomato, and you got it. Oh, come on over. You got it. Come on. Come on. You got to come over here. And uh, stand right about there. That's it. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, we did it. I got it, too. Well... We finally got Byron's hair wet, didn't we? That's, it's not plastic hair at all, is it? 825 points, and uh, we have this 50-point uh, 50, 50 question. No, go give Mark a hug. No, don't you dare. Fernwood, or Forever Fernwood, is a spinoff of what syndicated Norman Lear TV series? It's worth 50, or you could dare them. Um, uh, Mark? Yes. <laughs> what is Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman? You are right, you are right. 50 points added there. You have 875. <laughs> And that sound means it's the end of the game, thank God. With 875 points, the Air Force One team has won today's yeah. game of Family Double there. <laughs> Somehow I think it was rigged, but uh, who knows? Where are, you, where are you going? I'm getting out of here. Uh, we're going to see these folks congratulate the other team, and uh, we're going to come back and run the obstacle course right after we do uh, something. I have no idea what it is we're doing.
Welcome back to uh, Family Double Dare, special edition today uh, with all the folks. And uh, I've always wanted to chew gum doing this thing, so I'm going to do that. Usually I spit it out before I go on, so it's pretty annoying. Uh, Bob Mittenthal, one of the creators. It was Bob, uh, Dee LaDuke, Jeffrey Darby, and of course Michael Klinghoffer who created this program. You get to start off on uh, sushi. Uh, all you have to do is uh, go through uh, tube number one, uh, tube number two, three, and then down there in number four. We have a flag, Bob. Let me show you where you're going to end up. You won't look quite the same as you do now, um, but you'll be here full of all this pink gap. We wanted to put more in. We just ran out, so that's yours. Then we'll move over to number two. You'll have to pass the flag <laughs> over to... <laughs> yeah, Dana, don't do it. Uh, number two is uh, the Sunday slide. And let me explain this over here. Hi there. Oh, no, no. <laughs> God, it's starting already. Number two is the Sunday slide. You know how to do this, Dana. You've yelled at all those contestants throughout the years who have never been able to go up this thing. Once you get to the uh, platform, you come all the way down here into this gack, and then you'll uh, run over to number three. And Robin's got an easy one today. Uh, hers is um, <laughs> lube job. And... Uh, <laughs> oh, how did I know this was going to happen? Uh, I'll pay. Uh, it says a flag up there somewhere, or perhaps not. And uh, we're going to carry on and tell you that at obstacle number four. Ladies and gentlemen, Abby is here. Ethel Mertz. Uh, she's not really Ethel Mertz, but here she is. Abby uh, Ginsburg. <laughs> Hi there. Would you like to jump in that and show them how good it looks? No, but I think Lauren would. Lauren would. That's right. That's Lauren's job. Somewhere in there. Oh, this egg is getting disgusting. Uh, somewhere up there. Here, you can go get into that a little bit later. Uh, you will find a flag. It may be on the top. It may be on the bottom. I'm not telling because that last check was very late. So, oh, gosh. Oh, man. Number five. Hi, Byron. You looked real good there before. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, fine. You get an icy track. It's already covered with a fair amount of stuff. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and what you have to do is just kind of slide on through this neck of the woods. You're going to have a hard time because we built a double wall here. Then we get over to number six where Harvey is. Thank goodness there's no gack. And we... <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. And... Uh, you get to go down through there somewhere and, and find out exactly uh, where that flag is. Darby's coming up. I've got to get ready for this. Uh, number seven is, is the hamster wheel. And uh, that's it. And you know what you've got to do in this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, and then number eight, uh, the, the president of our channel, I don't know, if you can figure it out by now, it's your show. You, uh, you get <laughs> oh, you were very kind, thank you, that was nice of you. Uh, you get to get down uh, on your back and reach up there and pick this huge How nose. Dignified. Huh? How dignified. How dignified. What a, that's what a president should do is, is do that. All right, well, um, <laughs> oh, look at that, Jerry. Oh, and it smells disgusting. Oh, I'm getting out of here. That's unbelievable. All right, well, uh, we're going to start off with uh, Bob. We have six. Oh, that is the most vile smell I've had in, uh, oh, my gosh. Okay, well, 60 seconds on the clock. The only situation is that when the clock is up, you still have to continue. You have to finish this course. Good luck. On your mark. Put 60 seconds on the clock. Where is it? Put it up there. On your mark. Get set. Go! Can we find it? Oh, where are the lights? We lost the lights. Holy mackerel, Bob, stop. Oh, there we go. We're gonna, we got the lights back. Keep going. Keep going. There's number two up to the Sunday slide. Can they pull it off? Because if they can, I don't know what they get. Oh, that was great, Dana. That was great.
Tommy. There he is. 